Sometimes you'll want to find a specific group of people from the hundreds of leads in your CRM, but how do you do it quickly and easily with almost no manual input? Stay put to learn more. Hey folks, I'm Simon, and today I'll show you how to get the best out of filters in Como. But before we start, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any useful Como tutorials. When you have a lot of data in your database, filtering is the tool you'll need to make this process quick and easy to find the exact information. It narrows down thousands of data inputs so you can swiftly pave your way to viewing only the information that you need. Now, let's see how filters in Como actually work. Filters can be found in most of Como's section, which include dashboard, leads, calendar, chats, notifications, lists, stats, and even the user section. Now, there are two ways you can search for the information you need by typing keywords into the search bar or by using advanced filtering where you can add multiple rules to the filter form. You can use a wide range of rules to narrow the search for specific contacts such as tag, country, lead stage, responsible manager, and many more. Trust me, if you master filters, you will master Como. In Como, you'll find various filter options depending on your business needs, single, multiple range, by stages or by custom fields. Let's go through each one of them one by one. Single. A single filter is the simplest filter available in the system. It only takes a single string value. Multiple, an extended variant of the single type that can take several string values. Range, this filter allows filtering numeric values by the from to range. By stages a filter that allows filtering by leads located at specific lead stages. By custom fields. Now this filter allows filtering leads by values of multiple custom fields. All right, so now let's take a look at some of the default filters on Como. We can start by looking at the lead section filters in your Como account. When you click the search and filter bar, you can find preset filters on the left. These are active leads, my leads, one leads, lost leads, leads without tasks, and leads with overdue tasks. In the middle, we've got all the custom filters that we can mix. Let's say we need to find leads that have ordered web design. For that, in the lead name, we input web design. Then we decide that we only need them at specific stages. So let's say initial contact and negotiations. Click apply and voila, the leads are filtered. Please note that unlike custom filters, you can't edit preset filters. In the same filter window, you can filter leads by specific tags. Let's filter out leads with the VIP tag. Now, as you can see, these are our VIP clients. Now that we know who they are, we can send them discount coupons for the next order, just to show that we do appreciate our VIP clients, you know. Now, let's take a look at filters in the chat section. Here, similarly to the lead section, you can filter conversations by using preset filter options. These are open conversations, unanswered, assigned to me, subscribed, starred. But if you need to find something more specific, custom filters will help you do that. For example, you can filter your conversations by when they were created, by the conversation status, by the answer status, by the interaction status, by chat source, Last but not least, by the responsible user, lead subscribers and participants. But that's not all about filtering. Now let's move to notifications filters. If you're getting numerous notifications throughout the day, you can filter those as well. For example, if you only need to see unread, today's or starred notifications, you can use the preset filters on the left. Besides, you can filter notifications in the unified inbox by type, time or status. This is super simple and really handy. You can also use filters in your calendar section. To filter tasks, proceed to the calendar section and click new filter in the center of the screen. A quick overview. Here are some more preset filters, such as only my tasks. When opening the task page, by default, each user sees only their tasks. Overdue tasks, user tasks that have expired. Completed tasks, 
Use the tasks that have been closed. All tasks. All tasks of all users. The display depends on the rights of the user who filters. But account administrators like me see all the tasks of all managers. And finally, deleted tasks. Deleted tasks for all users. These are only available for account administrators. Tasks in this section are displayed for 30 days from the date of deletion. After that, they get permanently deleted. And as everywhere else, there are also custom filters. You can filter by the time of creation, closure, or duration in work, by the type, by the pipelines and stages, by task status, by responsible user, meaning the user the task is assigned to, and by the user who has created the task. Let's filter my overdue tasks. Whoa, now the filter results show one overdue task, so I need to finish this as soon as possible. Now, let's proceed to the list section and see what filters they have there. As usual, let's start with our preset filters. Here you have full list, displays all the contacts or companies depending on the selected display mode, contacts without tasks assigned, contacts with overdue tasks, no leads linked. This filter will display contacts and companies with no linked leads. And finally, deleted. Deleted contacts and companies are displayed. This item is available only to the account administrator. Contacts and leads are shown in the section for 30 days from the deletion date. Then they are permanently deleted. Custom filters can filter by name, time, pipeline, responsible user, created by, modified by, and finally, by tasks. Similar to the filter in the leads section, you can use tags here. When searching for multiple tags, two delimiters can be used. And, meaning filter results will include both of the tags you specified. Or, means that filter results will only include one of them. On top of that, you can also filter contacts and companies by tags. Pretty convenient, right? And that's us done here. Next, we turn to the stats section. If you go to the stats section, it will take you to analytics. And here, you can use the filters too. We can see the following preset filters. All events, my events, today, yesterday, and last 30 days. And the custom filters by time, by users, by object type, by events, by value before, and by value after. The next filter you can apply is in the users section. User section is another useful feature located in your settings. But before we proceed, please note you must be an account administrator to use this feature. Now, when you go to the filter, the following preset indicators are available. Active users displays all active users of the account. Inactive users, this displays deactivated account users. All users, this displays all account users active and inactive. Administrator, displays active users with administrator rights. And free users, displays active users from the free users group. There are also several custom filters such as groups. If the condition is not set, it is applied to all user groups. Roles, if not set, applies to all roles. If administrator is selected, then only for account administrators. And finally, user activity. If not set, searches for all users. If set, you can select active or inactive users. And that's us done here. The next one to look at is at dashboard filters. In the final dashboard section, you can filter data by several parameters. First of all, you can filter data by period. Today, it will display the data for today. Yesterday, displays data for yesterday. Week, data for the current week. Month displays data for the current month and period. Here you can set any period, for example, the last two weeks. Plus, you can choose to display only data of specific account users by pressing Select User. Clicking on the Events button in the upper right corner opens the Events list. The event list displays everything that happens in the account. You can also filter which events to display. Same as before, we've got a menu of preset and custom filters. Let's filter out conversations events by pressing all object types and selecting the event. Great, we've just fully covered the default filters. 
Now, let's see how to create a custom filter. So, you can create a custom filter by choosing the field you want to apply to your search. Now, all you have to do is save it. However, this action is only available for account administrators. So, to do this, select the filter you need, click Apply, click on the Save button, which is located under the preset filters on the left, and enter the name of your filter. Now, it will always be displayed in the list of preset filters, but do keep in mind that this feature is not available in the Users section, Filters. For any manager, it's always important to get the big picture. A dashboard widget with filtered results might be just the right tool for that. For example, this could help me track employees' overdue tasks and always keep them in front of our eyes. For that, proceed to the Calendar section, Filter, click Overdue Tasks. Once the tasks are filtered, click on its number that appears next to our good old ellipsis menu. Then press Create Dashboard Widget. A window will pop up where you can name the future widget and select its type. Let's leave it as Overdue Tasks, select the Lists type and press Create. And the widget is ready. Now you're all set to filter everything you need in Como. Now we've covered a lot of ground, but don't worry, you can always go back and rewatch any part of the video again. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click the bell button to make sure you don't miss out on our new tutorials. Thank you very much indeed for watching and I'll see you on the next video.